All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So, we got a solar generator review for you guys. Now, in the past, I have uh, shown the Opus 600 watt solar generator, small portable system, and we did some testing with it, and also used their solar panel system and charged it up, show the whole nine yards. There's a video in our playlist for our solar generators. Definitely go check it out. But Opus contacted me, and they sent the big brother. So what we got here, guys, is the 1100 watt Opus solar generator. So what we're gonna do, guys, do a real quick unboxing, and of course, with all of our solar generators, we put it through the test. We don't just plug in something. Look, my computer's charging, yay. No, guys, we run power tools. We run everything we can do. We throw everything we got at it because the fact is if you got to rely on a solar generator for power during a grid down scenario or something like that, you need to make sure it works. You need to make sure it can push what you need to push. The reason I like using power, gen, uh, uh, power tools is because if something happens to your home, like we're down here in Florida, hurricanes happen all the time. You got to do quick repairs and there's no power. Just like Hurricane Michael, there was no power in the area for two months no fuel having something you can charge up with the sun to run a skill saw run a drill things like that charge up battery banks to run drills and saws and things like that to repair your home and seal it up after a hurricane came through might be something you want to take a look at so let's check it out now this particular system guys did not come with the solar panel they do sell the actual solar panel kit for this i had um extra solar panels and stuff because i've been working with opus for a while now so i keep their products in stock here at the house because we use it so let's check out the unboxing here guys very nice packaging of course so we got a box up top here this is probably going to be yep this is going to be all of our uh cords and things like that we have a uh dc adapter so we can charge using a vehicle. Goes into a barrel plug. Opus has a barrel plug for the charges system. We have an AC plug for 110 outlet. We got the charging brick right here. So the AC plug will plug in here. And we can plug it into the wall to charge. This end goes into the uh, generator itself. We can charge this from the house. We can charge this from a gasoline powered uh, generator we can also charge this system using our solar as far as our inverters and stuff we just plug it right in plug that up and it'll be charging with the solar panel system we got and of course we have the solar panel here now opus comes with a uh, warranty card right here and a user's manual so right fast guys i want to flip through uh they do have it should be a nice little pop up there for you guys uh, it talks about the runtime, how many times it will charge up a phone, a tablet, a laptop, how many hours you'll get running a 10 watt light, cameras, drones, a mini cooler, a mini fridge, uh, electrical tools, um, a ventilator, which is very nice, a medical equipment, CPAP machines, things like that. So it shows how many hours it will run on a full charge. So what else we got here? Uh, rated power, 1000 watt, 1100 watt. Uh, peak power 1500 watts. Okay, so it does have a very good peak power on that guys So we're gonna have to run it through a test with all of our uh, power tools. Let's go ahead and get this thing out here Nice little foam backing. I noticed that uh, both generators I've received from them uh, They always come with these foam uh, pads that go on the outside it makes it much easier to use as far as storage and stuff so you don't bang it around and Here we go now, I'm going to grab the other solar generator and show you the difference. All right, guys. So we do have a size difference here as far as height. Uh, the width is just a little bit different as far as the thickness here and, of course, uh, crosswise. Uh, we've got the old, the other solar generator, the 600 watt, has two plugs for a uh, 110 outlet. The 1100 watt one has uh, three plugs for your uh, 110 outlet. You have uh, more charging ports for your... Uh, cell phones tablets usb ports things like that and you got your dc plugs up here barrel plugs inside now one of the things i did notice that is different besides just that the input plug is on the front side of the 1100 watt one compared to the 600 watt the input was on the uh, right hand side on the outside for your charging station whether it be your solar or your um, uh, ac adapter for the plugging it to the wall and also for the vehicle. 
sorry guys, my mind drifted for a second. Bigger display screen, you know, different size. There's, there's a difference there, guys. One more quick thing, just like the 600 watt one. We've got built-in lighting on the back side. Of course, it is daylight outside, so you won't be able to see it very well. You hold it down, you got lighting here. You got SOS, different brightness levels. That's an emergency beacon there. And you just hold it down, turn it all back off. Same as the 600 watt system, just larger and bigger battery banks. All right, guys, we have our Opus solar panel system set out here. And of course, the cord is actually built into the solar panel. Went ahead and plugged it directly into the front. So we actually have the ability to charge solar wise. This is a 100 watt panel system and it will charge up the Opus generator just fine. So I want to go and show you guys that. I've shown this in the past. Now, if you get the whole system kit, you get a fold up set just like this. Folds up like a little briefcase. Lightweight, it's not too heavy. Something you can always just store, keep on hand. And this way you always have the ability to charge up your system. Down here in Florida, we get plenty of sunlight, but we also have a lot more dangers as far as hurricanes and things like that. Power grid down here is not very uh, safe. It's always getting knocked out. It's not stable what one bit. Having a way of charging up a power station that runs quiet adds a punch as far as having a large battery bank supply is something nice to have. So let's go through some tests. All right guys, so we are plugged into our solar generator. The Opus 1100 watt, it's got a 1500 watt peak. We've got our circle saw out here. So a circular saw works. All circular saws have a different amp rating and things like that, guys. But it runs this one just fine. So let's move on to uh, the grinder. Why not? All right, guys. So we got a grinder here. Yeah, I actually dropped a piece of metal on my Dewalt grinder on the extension cord a while back. So I had to wire in a new cord. All right, so we plugged in. So we got no issues there guys uh, the grinder works so let's go ahead and get the jigsaw out all right guys so we got our jigsaw plugged in everything's turned on works so let's move on let's go find something else to see if we can uh, run it on the opus system the 1100 watt solar generator all right guys so we got a box fan here got the uh, solar generator so we're gonna plug her in because it does get hot down here in Florida all right we got it on low setting running good medium Got our full blast. So as long as you'll stay there, take a look at our readout. Uh, according to our readout, with this fan on full blast, with a full charge, guys, we are going to get 10 hours of operation use on this fan. This box fan running for 10 straight hours on high. So that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if the readout is playing good for you guys. It might be flashing, things like that. Uh, because of the camera and the lighting that we have here. Let me pull up the display again. Uh, output 
watts, 68 watts is what we are currently running on this fan. 68 watts. So it's got a readout on the wattage and everything. It also has an input readout if we plug in a power source like these solar panel things like that. It tells us how much power we're getting in. And we could run this for 10 hours. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and throw something bigger at it. This is the window unit. Uh, usually it pulls uh, 500 watts to 560 watts to run this. This is an 1100 watt solar generator. So, we got our cord right here guys. For our air conditioning unit. We got our solar generator here. Plug it in. Turn it on. Alright, we got air coming through. Let me turn on our supply listing here. Uh, it says that we are currently running 386 watts is what our listing is. 379 watts. Uh, at 98% charge, so we've been running power tools on this thing guys. It says that we can run this air condition for two hours and we have it on max cool. So guys, we're trying to make sure everything is in here. We've got an AC and this is on the compressor max cool. It's not on the fan. This is actually generating cool air. Again guys, we are able to get two hours with the air condition. The air conditioner is pushing 361, 362 watts currently. Of course, that hard startup generator is over 500 watts. But the running time, 362 watts, we can run this for two hours. We can actually cool down a room pretty quick, a small room with a small window unit. But I'm more worried about multiple box fans, things like that. We saw no problem with the box fan. Right now we're currently running a air condition. But with a limited battery space, we're only going to be able to get two hours out of this system. So let's move on. All right, guys. So what we've done, we brought the generator inside. You can actually see the display better. It's just being outside, and that outside light causes flickering and stuff like that on the camera alone, not on the unit. I don't know why it does that, but when you're in the shadows and stuff, it does all right. Uh, odds are when we turn on the light, it will do the same thing. It's just the camera's refracting with the lights. But right now we got a lamp plugged in. So let's go ahead and turn this uh, on, guys. All right. So let's check out what we got here. Actually, it looks like our power station uh, display is working good with the camera tonight. Okay, so running this light, we got 35 hours of um, use. Oh, no. This is 97% because we were running power tools and things like that off the system. 35 hours we could run this light bulb. 35 hours before this battery's dead in the solar generator. And that's pretty good, especially if you need lighting. Um, this is why I always tell people to use uh, LED lighting and stuff like that. Low wattage bulbs in their homes. It makes it easier on a solar system or a power generator. So you get longer hours using less wattage of bulbs. So the display does turn off to uh, save on power. You just imagine, hold it back and it'll come back on. So we're at 97%, 35 hours left to run this light. All right guys, so that is a review on the 1100 watt Opus solar generator. This is a 1500 watt surge power source. You know, it can go up to 1500 watts on the surge power. That's for your kick ups and stuff like that from a compressor unit, things like that. Now guys, <clears throat> unfortunately I do not have a mini fridge to do some testing on that as well i no longer have that option for the videos right now but i'll tell you this much our mini fridge has always went against everything that we've ever thrown at it and it's always passed this this unit here won't have any issues at all because those mini fridges have low compressors they don't use up much amperage they work amazing you get several hours uh again there's a pop-up there talking about a mini fridge how many hours you're going to get out of it i think it's like a 58 watt one that's probably that's going to be close to what you're going to get out of a mini fridge so with medication things like that guys a power station is great to have all right let's say that you have medication that has to be refrigerated insulin this is going to pull that this is going to keep that refrigerator cool you know as long as you keep your door and your refrigerator shut you'll get some uh several hours to a day maybe two days on a mini fridge okay now if you're charging this up during the daytime and then go plug it in kick you know so your refrigerator's running Dude, you can do this a long time until they get the power restored. And this is just in case an event happens with a natural disaster. Now, if you've got a grid down scenario, whether it be cyber attack or whatever, corona mass ejection, EMP strikes, having something like this that's been 
protected in Faraday cages and stuff like that, something you can pull out and generate power. They're quiet, you can operate them inside your home. The solar panel, run the solar panel out your back, out in your backyard, keep the unit inside. As long as you keep it out of direct sunlight, the systems don't overheat. That's one of the warnings, they are all solar generators don't have them in direct sunlight, all right? You just don't leave them out because there's batteries around this thing, okay? So you could either build a shady little spot or something like that, you can slide this thing in while you're charging up, or just open up your back door, put your solar panels on the back patio, let it charge up from inside the home. So anyway guys, hopefully this is a great option for you. Uh, again, check out our solar generator playlist. We got a whole bunch of different options and stuff. Opus, I definitely do appreciate you reaching out to us. I do like your products. I look forward to working with you guys again in the future. So again guys, this is the Opus 1100 watt. Uh, again, the links are in the description, so definitely check them out guys. Speak to you later.